Hello, guys. Good night. Have been past six minutes and nobody's here right now. Hopefully everything is, is okay and everybody's okay. Estamos oh. ahorita. I think we're just you and me, me and you. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. nice. Well, I don't know what's going on with all the guys. Well, Charlie just sent a message through the WhatsApp group that he's sick. Oh. Mm hmm we do need to oh yeah he pop up a message right now let me double check what Por did he say i think la so. nacional. yeah we no got terminado. no yet okay no but it is really important to listen what the president is going to say mm -hmm. yeah are you double checking right now the 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 president's announcement right now or no yet uh, todavía está. really Sí, okay. todavía está la, la... Es que está dando indicaciones, ya oh. prohibió eh, call center. Oh, my God, so I'm not going to go to work tomorrow. Yeah, call center, um, oh. maquilas cerradas. Oh, wow, so I will, I will not go to go... I'm not going to go to work tomorrow. Because I work in a call center, actually. Oh, my God. Do you Para actually... Los... Para nosotros, si no sé, todavía no han dicho no. Okay. What is, what is exactly what you do, Claudia? What do you do? Where do you work? Um, it's a pet store. A pet store? Oh! Yes. Hey, <laughs> so I know who I need to contact to ask for something for my doggy. Really? Yes. That's amazing. Where is it located? The pet store. Where is it located? Uh, um, Santa Elena. Santa Elena? Santa Elena. Yes. Which one? Um, Petland. Petland. The one that is located in Plaza Madero? Yes. Oh my God, I've been there. Why I haven't seen you, Cody? Yeah, de verdad. Yeah, Llega. really? Yeah. Actually, um, my, my dog has a girlfriend, right? And recently, the girlfriend had a born, get born, Three baby dogs. Wow. I have it here right now at home. And actually, I went um, last week, I think Saturday, if I'm not mistaken, I went there and I basically bought two food can, two dog food can, especially for uh, for mama for mama dog and baby dogs. Ah, uh, Starter Moose, Royal Canin. Exactly. Yeah. And also, um, yes. science diet one for uh, for baby okay. dogs. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah, because okay. they need they eat a lot, and the mama needs to get healthy and eat a lot too in order to give a breast to their children. Exactly. I have a dog, a small, small dog, bebe, baby one. Oh. Lo voy a buscar. Lo voy yes, a... please. Hi, Javier. How you Where doing? Okay. Very good. Oh my God! Have you seen Claudia's baby dog? I, I want, yeah. show it to me. Show it to me. Oh my God! It's so beautiful. Oh, oh my Thanks. God! You Thanks. know what? Hopefully, one of the dogs will look like him. What is the, his um pedigree? Is he said a snouter? Yeah. no, no tiene. Um, pero es hijo de, de mi perro. De, es Gwesky. Ah, and he, what kind of dog is that? Is that is a schnauzer? Is a terrier? It's this terrier um, because with my No, it's a different different. Oh, okay, so there is a mixed uh, one. No, it's on. Se parecen a los schnauzer, pero son blancos. Oh, blancos. Uh huh. Y son más peludos de la cara. 
Oh, that's amazing. They're lovely one. Javier, do you like Claudia's dog? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Oh, how old Bye -bye. is the dog? Bye-bye. It's, it's terrible. I know, I know. <laughs> but that's nice. Thank you so much for joining the class, Javier, and also Claudia. And who else? I do have a deed here also. Okay. I know, guys, today is really important because we need to listen to our president's announcements, right? For all the changes that might be uh, coming on, on our country. Hopefully, everything's going to be all right. Um, okay. So, uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, yes, Claudia. See you. Um... Veo que hay un caso. No, I haven't seen it actually. I, I have no time today to see the to watch the TV and the news. But the first, I heard about that. The, yeah, that's what they said. The first, the first case uh -huh. in Metapan. Really? Yeah. Oh, maybe when the person came to El Salvador was asymptomatic, and uh, a few days passed, and then well. De de hecho llegó por síntomas. Eh, venía de Italia, entró por punto ciego a saber cuánta oh, gente ha perjudicado. Oh my God. Yeah. The same happens in Costa Rica. A Costa Rica girl, yeah, came from Italy and that same happens. Oh my God. Well, that's why we need to take all the consideration of the president to take care of ourselves. It's real important. Yeah. Oh. yeah. But you know what? You're going to have the English classes, huh? Huh. Sorry, no sorry, way. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, no, no, that's okay. I, I love to be with you guys. So we're going to, because we need to do a lot of things and we need to cover a lot of topics. So basically we're going to have our English classes. Okay. At least we're going to see each other because that's not affect us, right? We don't have a, like a physical touch so we can see each other right now. Okay. okay. Hopefully. Okay. We're going to wait for, um, a lot of, another classmate that will enjoy the class right now we have all georgina here we have adit we have gabrielle we have javier and we have you so that's good all righty guys let's start the class today um i don't know if you have able to win into the platform javier or, or claudia did you check the platform today um uh, tell me the truth too far <laughs> I, I, yes, Javier. I, Go ahead. I, I was I was watching, but the the weekend, but I I don't remember. Oh, I, okay. I I was completely the the the, the platform. Oh, really? That's but, amazing. Good but job. Sunday, but I, I but I don't remember right now. <laughs> oh, I do understand. But congratulations, Javier. That's okay. Not a problem. Today, guys. As I said before yesterday, um, we're going to talk about simple present, but now we're going to add extra information. In this case, hi, Moran. Oh, okay. Hi, Gabriel. In this case, guys, hello, we're, hello. we're going to add um, hi, some, hi. Inf some information about the time expressions. We talk about something that we do every single day and also hours of time, okay? And preposition of time. Okay, that's what we're going to see today. All righty. Um, the, the preposition in English are really important. And sometimes we use exactly the same preposition for time and for places. Today, we're going to talk about three prepositions of time. We're going to talk about in, at, and on. Oh. Okay, is that real important? Because we're going to learn when do we use in, when do we use at, and when do we use on. For example, I work from Monday to Friday, but I do not work on weekends. Why I use on weekends and not in weekends? That's a really good question. Tell me something. Javier, at what time yeah. do you wake up in the morning? Oh, I wake up in the morning at uh, 4, 4 30. Uh, at 4 30 a.m.? Yeah. Good. Every day. Every <laughs> single day. You Good. see, yeah. in your answer, you have used two things. The two things that we're going to see today that okay. preposition of time at 4 30 a.m. And you said every day. Hour of time. 
Exactly. Because you're letting me know about an activity that you do every single day at a specific time. Okay. okay. So at, do a check. At is really important because that preposition of time, we use it when we like to talk about and, ex, and, and specify uh, an action that we do at a specific time. Right. Okay. At 4.30, for example. Javier, no, 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 Javier, I will leave you alone, Javier. Mr. <laughs> Moran, Mr. Moran, at what time you have your lunch? At what time? Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. I launch. You uh, have my lunch? Mm -hmm. At the... Uh, Approximately, approximately, one, because uh -huh. one, one o'clock at one o'clock a.m. or p.m. One uh, thirty at one thirty p.m. Thirty one thirty 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 exactly. 30. Remember, okay. like Z as in zebra, thirty. Look at my mouth, thirty. 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 Very good. At one thirty okay. p.m. Around that time, but because maybe not all the time it's the same exactly hour, right? But some at one thirty p.m. All the days. All the days. Okay. Uh, Monday. Mm -hmm. e Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Monday, Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay. Yes. Very good. You can mention each single day as you have done right now. But also you can say, if you would like to talk about a specific period of time, you can say from Monday to Friday. And you cover all the days, a list of the labor days, okay? Very good job. Okay, Claudita, at what time do you usually go to sleep? Um, 11 p.m. <gasps> At 11 p.m.? Yes. Ooh, too late. Why? Yeah. Um, the, ¿cómo se dice salida? Salida de mi trabajo. I finished my shift. I finished my shift um, at 8pm or 9pm. Ah, you finished your shift between 8pm and 9pm. Yeah. Okay. Um, wow, so um, Real mm. class. Class. The English? English. Oh, okay. That's really good that you mentioned that. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Gabrielle, at what time do we usually have our English classes? Usually, I have uh, my class, my English class at 9 p.m. Usually. Okay. At <laughs> 9 p.m. But That's tell nice. me something, Edith. <laughs> at what time normally or usually <laughs> the students supposed to be in the class? Suppose. Suppose. That means what is exactly the real time, as Gabrielle said. At what time is the English class? At, at, at 9 p.m. At 9 p.m. But tell me something, <clears throat> uh, Mr. Moran. At what time do you join today's class? Join at uh, uh, mm -hmm. 9 At 9 20? At, at nine. <laughs> Exactly. Okay, that, no, no, that's not to make you feel bad, okay? Don't worry about that. It's just an example, okay? I understand okay. why you joined the class later because you were watching what the president said, so it was really important. I understand that. But you see, you ask, you provide me an information and a specific act activity that you do at a specific time. Everybody have used at. Okay, but let me ask you a question. Um, Edith, um, do you work uh, on weekends? No. No what? No. Uh, I, I... Uh -huh, no, I, yes, continue. No, I don't work. No, I don't work? No, I don't work in... 
in on weekend on weekends very good good preposition of time mm -hmm. on weekends okay you work from monday to friday yes what about you america mr america okay hello good night hello good, good night. night long good time night. without Hello, seeing you i miss you what happened to you i long teacher, story um, it, um i um uh, uh preocupación preocupado you, you are worried i am worried for the situation in our country um is 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 very um 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 eh, triste sad. i don't know how to say sad, sad. triste yes sad. we understand that. the situation yes but Definitely. uh is um in, in in other situations is um, so so okay exactly and you understand we need to follow the instructions and everything is going to be all right don't you think um <sighs> hopefully <laughs> yes yes definitely hopefully will be okay guys i know i know that you should be worried about that it's normal of course but right now let's Double check something and try to focus as much as you can on the class, okay? All righty, there you go. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, guys, um, tell me something. Um, Gabriel, when do we use the preposition of time? Can you please let me know? You have any idea? Uh, can you repeat, please? When do we use the preposition of time? Uh, when we use the preposition at no when i mean when what when, when do we use them we have three preposition uh, of time at in and on exactly you were right about that but when do we use it uh, we use when we're talking about uh, time mm -hmm. about uh, uh, place okay and about uh, days mm -hmm. exactly today we're going to talk about the three preposition of time at on and in they you they we can use it as well to talk about places as you said gabriel but today we're going to learn how to use them when we're talking about time Exactly. Right. Okay. That's what we're going to learn right now. So bear with me for a moment. I'm going to double check some information that I have here and I will show it to you because it's really, really important to double check that really quickly. I will share right now the screen with you. So allow me just a couple of minutes and uh, da, 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 I will show it to you right away. <clears throat> Let me double check. I'm waiting right now, okay? So thank you so much for your patience because you know that sometimes the computer doesn't want to work, right? You know that for sure. Yesterday, Alice said the teacher has to buy a new computer. That's what he said. <laughs> but no way. In the meantime, do me a favor, uh, Claudita, can you please be so kind to provide me a sentence using the preposition at? At um, time? Yes, please. Um, example. Yes. Um, teacher. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Usually, um, 
तो उस वाले जो ना गुएन जू उस वाले बाय उटना There you go. Okay, cool. Let me know as soon as you are able to see my computer, right? Please. All righty. Can you see it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm, they pop up something that I didn't want it to, but don't worry. I'm going yes. to fix it right now because I need to talk about a specific. Oh, there you go. Can you see that, guys? Yes. 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 Cool. yes. Yes. Okay. As I said, guys, we're going to talk about the three prepositions of time right now, so we can uh, ha have more vocabulary to express activities that we do every single day, like a daily routines, for example. And we will talk about simple present, and we want to specify um, some activity in particular. Let's double check right now at uh, the first one, the preposition at. Do me a favor, um, Moran. Could you please be so kind to read for me? How do we use a preposition at or okay. when? <clears throat> okay, uh, at uh, ten. No, just just the just the instruction. When do we use it? At is used for precise time. Exactly, at is used to for precise time for a specific time. There you go. Continue with examples, please. At ten. Ten half. No, ten half. Ten. Thirty. Ten thirty. Very good. Ten thirty a.m. Or ten, another way ten. to say the same the same time. Another way to say ten thirty in English. Uh, ten. Ten. Uh, uh, ten. Uh, ten half o'clock. A hey, kind of, kind of, kind of, almost close to that. But you can do it better. I know that you know that. Uh huh, Javier. Next. Can you... No, no, you next. Oh. <laughs> uh, do you say the other way to say it exactly the same time? Ten thirty a.m. is okay. You're good. Exactly. But there's another way to say the time in English. Do you remember? Thirty past ten. Hey, thirty past ten. Very good job. But there is another way to say it exactly the same time. Yes, Gabriel. Like he was like, oh, oh my god. Uh huh. I told you, practice makes perfection. Okay, a uh, Claudita. You know that. You know the answer. I know you know the answer, girl. Um, at eight o'clock. No, no, no. I mean the first example at ten thirty. Moran uh, said at ten thirty a.m., which is good. Edith said thirty minutes, right? Past ten, which is good. But there's a third way to say it. Oh. Oh. Uh huh. Oh. Eh, Americo, do you? Ah, who said that? Who said that? Ten half. Eh, eh, no, close to that. <laughs> eh, Americo, you have the answer. Um, no? No. Ten no. Half, no. Ten uh -uh. Half. Similar to that. Yes, you're close to that. But <laughs> uh -huh, close to that, I know. What about you, Gabriel? Javier? Uh maybe at ten in the middle? Uh, no. No. no? <laughs> oh. Okay, guys. Another way to say that is half past ten. Half, half past ten. 10. Exactly. But you see, I told you, you were close to close to like, <laughs> but it didn't come up, right? But that's good. That's great, guys. You see, we're double checking. Tradu tradu 
What? Teacher, half past ten. Half past ten. Half past ten. Yes, exactly. Half past ten. So we have three ways to say exactly the same In time. In Spanish? Uh, media hora pasada a las diez. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, Moran. There you go. Continue with example, please. At eight o'clock. At eight o'clock. Very good. Go ahead. At bedtime. At bedtime, yeah. And at breakfast. A breakfast. 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 Okay, okay, guys. Breakfast. At we use it. We would like to talk about a specific time. Okay, if precise. We can set a specific hour, like the first two examples, or a specific, um, for example, situation or time. For example, breakfast. We have a breakfast, right? We're talking about at breakfast in general, a specific time. Or for example, at night. Another way. We don't say in the night. No, we said at night. Okay? At lunch time. At dinner time. Okay? This is really important to know that. For a, for a specific situation? For a specific or, times or, or precise or times. times. Okay. Exactly. They were, were, I, I do, in the same page, I do have more examples to give it yeah. to you guys. Okay, but what we're going to talk about right now in general. Let, okay. Now let's move on to in. Uh, Americo, can you please read it for me? When do we use in? Um, in is used for months, years, mm -hmm. de decades, mm -hmm. centuries, and long periods of time. Exactly. We use uh, in for months, years, decades. Centuries, decades, 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 centuries, centuries that means siglos, and long yes. period of time. And we have an example. Can you please read it for me, Americo? Um, in, in ten, 16? In 16 years, I, I, I have more, more, more old men. Uh-huh, in 16 years time, in Espanol sería en 16 años. Yeah, yes. we're talking about long period of time. Okay, continue with the second example. I am a I am uh, more more old man. <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> no, don't worry. What about the second one? In 1991, we're talking about you see a specific year. Uh, for example, Edith, uh, when do you, when you were born? When? In uh, what year? Uh, don't tell oh. me that you don't remember the year that you were no, born. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Uh, what, uh, um, we're using the preposition. Monday. In in Monday. Monday? Monday? Don't tell me that the, 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 the day of the week. Just the, the date. Right. Exactly. The, uh -huh. For example, let me give you an example. I was born February 9th in 1982. Oh my God. You're going to make a calculator. You're going to know my age. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Shame on me. <laughs> okay, so you see, Edith, I use in because I'm talking about the year that I was born, in 1982. Can I put the microphone, teacher? Thank you, Varan. Thank you. You're always there. He's my IT department. That's why I love him. Mm. <laughs> Very good. Okay, um, Gabriel. What was the year yeah. that you were born? In what year were you born? I was born in 84. In, in 84 or in 1984? Uh, yeah, I was born in 1984. Very May. good. Okay, in May. Okay, yeah. very good job. Let me share right now the, um, the screen once again. What about you, Javier? Uh, do me a favor. <coughs> uh, Moran, can you please ask Javier when he was born? 
A ver, when he was born. Where he was born or when you were born? Uh, excuse me, uh, Javier, uh -huh. when, when you... Uh, were born? When, uh, when you born? Uh-huh. When you born, that's okay. Yeah. I was born in 1979. In 1979? No. No. Do you believe him, Claudi? Uh -uh. <laughs> okay, Javier. Can you ask Claudi when she was born? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I wait for the question, Claudi. Come on. <laughs> when do you born, uh, Claudia? When you were born? I am, mm -hmm. I am born 1979. 1979 also? Yes. The same year of, yeah, same year of Javier. That's amazing. All righty. Yeah. Uh, Claudia, can you please ask the question to Moran? Uh, Moran, where, where are you? Brown. When do you no. when you were when, when I was I was born in nineteen nineteen. In nineteen ninety? Yeah. Wow, there you go. Okay, Moran, can you please ask the same question to Americo? Americo where was born? I was born in 1974. 1974. Oh my gosh. We need to respect Mr. America. He's older than us right now. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes. We respect, sir. We respect oh, yes. you a lot. Oh my God. Am, oh, yes. Oh, yes. He said. <laughs> All righty. Tell me, guys. <laughs> uh, so you were born in 1974, in 1979, in 1982. But tell me, which month? America? Which month? In February, in March, which month? In June. In June. What about you, yes. uh, Moran? In September. Very good. What about you, Gabriel? Um, in May. In, in May. But what, in, what about you, Edith? In December. December. What about you, Martita? In March. March. What about you, uh, Mr. Javier? In September. In September. What about you, Claudia? In June. In June. Yeah. Okay, so we do not repeat ourselves. <coughs> Don't ask me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's continue. Okay, but I'm going to help you with that. I, I was born in February. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay, uh, who said ah? Uh, okay. Uh. <laughs> uh -huh. Leave it like that way. Leave it like that way. All righty. Let in the month of the law, teacher. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, let's focus on preposition on, okay? <laughs> big house, big house. Big house, okay. <laughs> I don't know what does it mean. <laughs> okay. Is that an um, expression in Spanish? No? And, uh, uh, por eso. Ah, okay, that's why I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> you need to explain to me later on, right? That thing happens to me when I was um, uh, teaching um, some guys at the airport. At the airport. They taught me some expressions that they use here in El Salvador. Then I was like, what does it mean? <clears throat> and they explained to me later on. So uh, please, guys, you need to teach me those expressions, please. Because I need to know what they're going to say, right? Or what they're telling me. I need to be aware about that. Okay, <laughs> but that's okay. Also, you're going to be my Spanish teacher. Is that correct? I will really appreciate that. Okay, let's move on to, uh, to on. Can you please read it for me, um, Javier? Go ahead. Okay, on is uses for a days and dates. Exactly, for days and dates. Dates that meet a specific period. For example, um, on summer evening, on Christmas Day, remember, what is the exactly date for Christmas? 25. December 25th. Exactly. So we, so we were talking about on Christmas date. We know which date specifically we're talking about, right? Yeah. 
Or for example, <laughs> uh, somebody said you were born on the on the month of love, teacher. They said, <laughs> right, right. Okay. Most of the people celebrate that specific date in which part of February? February what, guys? February 14th. Very good job. Exactly. So we said on February 14th, okay? Or we can say on Valentine's Day, okay? And we know that we're talking about a specific date, in this case, February 14th. Okay, is that correct? Yes. Yeah, okay. There you go. Also, the guys, we're talking about days on Christmas. On Christmas. We know that. We do not specify that situation. We're talking about a specific season Friday. or a specific celebration. Exactly, on Friday. For example, um, mm -hmm. on Friday, I have to go to the doctor. Okay. Yes. It's not Tuesday, it's not Monday, it's not Sunday, it's on Friday, okay? Because on that specific date, I need to do this specific activity, okay? okay. Is that good? Okay, yes. did you follow okay. me? Okay. Yes, sir. Question. Yes, Morang, I knew it, I knew it. I was waiting for your question. Go ahead, sir. Por ejemplo, si quiero decir, en la próxima hora, diría, on the next time, on the next hours, uh -huh. Or in the next hour, or at the next hour. Ah, that's oh. a good question. Uh huh. What do you think, guys? On the next on, time, actually. On the next. Mm -hmm. It is. Uh, okay. Why next on? Day is. Bueno, pero no es algo. Mm hmm. Algo preciso, sería algo preciso, un, un tiempo preciso. Mm -hmm. Sería at. Are you sure? Who can answer that question to Moran? What what exactly we uh -huh, we do what exactly would you like to say, Moran? What is exactly mm -hmm. oh, on the next hours? I believe this is uh huh. I think that is on the next hour because it's like a, it's like a, a meeting or a date. In this case, mm -hmm. for yes. example, we are going to see in, on uh, next hours. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, how in this case on is is used for uh, days and date. Mm hmm. I think that on on the next hours. Mm -hmm. Very Three. good. Mm -hmm. That's that's good point of view. Are you agree with that, Americo and Gabriel? Um, I think uh, can we use on the next hour? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because in this expression, mm -hmm. uh, we don't use a precise time. Mm -hmm. Only is and on the next hour, uh, mm. I think. Okay, we're going there. We're going there. What about you, Americo? I think I think uh, idem. Which one? What, which one you said? Add in or on? On on the next hour. On the next hour. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's correct. Okay. Don't worry, Moran. I'm about to show you something. Okay. I'm going to clarify mm -hmm. your situation because you're like, you're not convinced with what they said, right? Okay. Let me give you an example. So, okay. Let's focus right now or add right now, sirs. Can you see it? <clears throat> yes. Okay. We have a lot of precise times, okay? <coughs> there you go. We have a lot, a bunch of lists here. At 10.30, we have seen already. At 8 o'clock, at bedtime, at breakfast, at Christmas as well, at dawn, at dinner time, at midday, 
al mediodía. Yeah. At night, a la noche. At noon, también puede ser al mediodía. Pero más que todo lo hacemos para hacer at noon o clock. Para hacer 12 o'clock. Yep. At the end, al final. At the beginning, al principio. At the moment, en el momento. At the present, en el presente. At the same time, al mismo tiempo. And at the weekend, en el fin de semana. Okay, I will show it to you something. Don't worry about that. Um, I have a question. Aha, uh -huh. who has a question? Yes, I knew it. Uh -huh. Yes, and what means at down? Uh, don't tell me that you don't know that answer. Oh. Yes, uh, at down. At down. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes. I don't know. Guess. <laughs> Guess. Um. Uh huh. At down. At down. Maybe. Yes. At down. Al final. No, but because that is at the end. Uh huh. Um. At down. Mm hmm. I don't know because uh, the letter, the vowel is a. I add down. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> no idea? No. Al amanecer. Es como, como, como bajo, ¿no? Perdone? Ah. A down, como al amanecer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sí? Eso es down. Ok. Very good. Mm -hmm. Any other one? You're welcome. Any any other one? A duck. Estaba ahí. A duck. A, a dust. A dust. <laughs> a dust. Any ideas or no way? No ideas. No. Are you sure? You have you have mm. never heard that expression before. A dust. <laughs> okay. The dust is the opposite of dog. Mm. Okay. A dust is al atardecer, al anochecer, o crepúsculo. Ocaso. Exactly. Exactly. Any other one? Do you see my screen, guys? Sun, sunrise. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Uh, there is, I'm showing to you that not because I don't know the answer for each uh, word. It's because I want to show you a specific tool that it will be really helpful for you. I will I will share the link with you. Okay, which one you said? Mm -hmm. A sunrise, you said? Yes, sunrise. All right. What is a sunrise? Any 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 ideas? It is, it is similar to dusk. Un soleado. Ah, that might be, yeah. Ah, That's soleado. soleado, exactly. Very good. You see? I know that you know, guys. I'm so proud of you. That's amazing. Very good. Okay. Now let's continue with that. That is exactly with the preposition at. What about preposition in? We have some information, right? For example, let's say uh, that we'd like to talk about a specific time. For example, en los ochentas, en los noventas, en los setentas. We said in the 70s, in the 60s. In the 80s, okay? Aquí tenemos el ejemplo, miren, in 1970s, right? See? We get that. In the afternoon, we're talking about a specific period of time. En la tarde. Guys, at what time do you have your English classes? In the morning, in the afternoon, or at night? At night. At night. We don't say in the night, no. At night. Very good. Okay. We have some examples here. Can you please read for me? Help me, Moran, reading first. In the afternoon. Can you continue reading for me? In the me? afternoon. Go in ahead. In the Christmas holiday. Okay. In the dark age. Ages. In the evening. Mm -hmm. In the future. Mm -hmm. In the morning. Mm -hmm. In the past. In the 70. In the summer. 
in the center. Very good. In Any questions? Century. In the century. Is it in this century? Exactly. Yes. And that's the ciclo. In this, in this century. Very good job. You see, in the seventies and los setentas. See, very good. And in dark ages, los uh, años oscuros. Okay. Any in the any other um, vocabulary that you don't know what does it mean? No. No. You're a smart guys. I know no. that. That's no. why I love you. Very good. And let's move on to on. It's used for dates and days. And we have an example here. Uh, can you please read it for me, Mr. Moran? Yeah. On a summer evening. Uh -huh. On Christmas day. Okay. On Christmas. On Friday. Mm -hmm. On holiday. On January 3rd. 3rd. Sure. You need third, very good. Mm -hmm. On my birthday, on my wedding day, mm -hmm. on that day, mm -hmm. on the on the tenth, 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 mm -hmm. on the tenth of January. Very good job. On the first day, on the last day, on Tuesday night, Tuesday. on Wednesday. Uh -huh. And on Wednesday. Very good job. Exactly. Okay, guys. Okay, Mr. Moran. So double checking right now the example that we have seen so far. In which which of the preposition of time you're going to use? In, at, or on? Oh my God, it's smelling like something is burning. Maybe it's Mr. Moran's brain. I'm just thinking. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, guy. What do you think? I gave you an example, so you need to be sure about that. No? About Who was what? About what? Remember his example or his question? Do you remember, guys? ¿Cuál era su pregunta, Moran? Can you please remind mm. the classmates? Mm. The next hours. Sí. In Spanish, oh, don't oh. worry. Don't worry. Say okay. it in Spanish. Okay. Eh, ¿Cuál preposición usaríamos? La ad in o on? Para, ¿Para qué? Uh -huh. Next time. Eh, next hours, next minutes, next second. Es una, es algo específico, es una, algo específico. Entonces, podría ser in the next hour. In the next hour is very good job. In the next minute, in the next second, in the next year. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Why? That's okay, es but why? Fecha. Mm -hmm. Specific. Exactly. Exactly. And you're if you're talking about year, you you need to use in. If you need about mm -hmm. decades, you need to use in as well. In a period of time as well. Very good job. Excellent. Guys, so far so good? Yes. Okay, I'm going to give it to you right now, guys. Uh oh my god, you know what? It's almost time to leave. No, 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 no. We need to continue. Huh. You came late, so we need to continue. Now, guys, let's move on to another thing that is going to be useful for you. And um, to have more vocabulary to express your activities, is we're talking about hours of time in English. Can you see that my screen right now? Can you see it? Yeah. Yes? Okay. Yes. Uh, guys, in English, we have a, a different type of hours, right? Hours of manners, hours of place, etc. In this case, we're going to talk about, we're going to focus today's class on hours of time. Uh, Gabrielle, do me a favor. Can you please read for me this, the first part of hours of time? Which question does this response to? Mr. Gabriel, okay, go ahead. Yes, yes. Go ahead. And this proposition of time? No, hours of time. Hours of time. 
We have it here on the screen. Can you see my screen right now? Yes. Okay. Can you please read for me this first part? Okay. At the moment, at the present, at the same time, at the weekend. No, I think you're not seeing my screen. Uh, I see that. Uh, maybe. Okay. Let me go ahead and double check right now. And let me share okay. it once again. Yes, because I think you don't see my screen right now. <clears throat> I will show you right now my screen. Give me just a couple of minutes. There you go. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm sharing right now my screen. There you go. Okay. Can you see it right now? Yes. Right now, okay. yes. Okay, cool. Very good. That's what I want. Okay, adverse of time. Can you please read for me this first part? Okay. Adverse of time answer the question when. Mm -hmm. It tells us when an action happened, decides how long, how often, most important adverse of time list. Very good. Okay, guys. So the adverse of times is answered the WH question when. Okay? Will let us know when an a specific action happens. Besides of how long, okay, then we're going to use the preposition of, of time. We have some lists here. There are more. There are more adverse of time, but this is just the main one that we normally use. Okay, I need a volunteer to read for me the first column. Thank you so much for the participation. Uh, Mr. America, go ahead. I don't know what happened to America. Maybe he's gone. Okay, Martita, go ahead. Can you please read it for me? Okay. Always. Very good. Always. Mm -hmm. uh, annually. Mm -hmm. Very good. Before. All right. Constantly. Mm -hmm. Daily. Daily. Earlier, eventually, mm -hmm. ever, frequently, finally. Very good job. Okay. Second um, column, could you please read for me, Edith? First, uh, generally, wholly, mm -hmm. not, last, late, later, monthly, now, next, occasionally. Uh, uh, rarely. Okay, very good. Um, next one, Javier. Could you please be so kind to read the last one? Okay. Sheldon. Mm -hmm. Science. Soon. Then. Today. Tomorrow. Tonight. Yesterday. Usually. Yet. Weekly. Yearly. Very good job. Excellent. Okay, guys. Let's practice right now the, prepos the preposition, the pronunciation before I move on. Repeat after me. Let's go ahead on the first column. Always. 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 Already. 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 Annually. 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 Very good. Before. Before. Constantly. Before. Constantly. 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 Daily. Daily. Early. 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 Earlier. Earlier. Eventually. Eventually. Ever. 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 Frequently. 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 Finally. 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 Let's move to the second one. First. 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 Generally. 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 Hourly. 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 Just. Yeah. Last. 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 Late. Late. Later. 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 O si quieren utilizarlo en inglés británico, later. 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 Okay. Oh, que es fancy, nos oímos, right? Okay, continue. Monthly. 
Monthly. Monthly. Noun. 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 Next. 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 Occasionally. 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 Very good. Rarely. Rarely. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to the third one. Seldom. 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 Since. 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 Soon. Since. Soon. Soon. Then. 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 Today. 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 Tomorrow. 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 Tonight. 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 Yesterday. Yesterday. Usually. 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 Jet. 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 Weekly. 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 Yearly. 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 Very good job. Oh, I know that you're going to have a question. So tell me something, guys. For the three columns that we have here, the adverse of time, is there are some adverse of time that you see for the first time? Hay algunos adverbios que es la primera vez que ustedes ven que es un adverbio de tiempo. Yes. Yeah. For example, aha, uh -huh, I knew it. <laughs> seldom. seldom, seldom, and es casi como rarely, rara vez. Mm -hmm. Pero rarely es como de vez en cuando, y seldom es más negativo que positivo, o sea, como que casi no. Okay. Okay. Very good. Go ahead. And another one. Zoom. Earlier. Zoom es algo que está haciendo pronto a hacer. No es Zoom de la aplicación que usamos para dar las clases. No, because that is with Z as in zebra. Okay? That is with S. Okay, por ejemplo. Um, hey, I have to go to my English classes. I see you soon. Okay? Te veo al rato. Te veo luego. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Another one. Earlier. Earlier. Aha. Uh -huh. Mr. Moran, I knew tarde. that. Uh, no, early es temprano. Earlier okay. es a superlativo de temprano. Tempranísimo. Uh, earlier. Okay. Yeah? Okay. That's good. Very good. Another one? Hourly. Or a la hora. Mm. Another time. one, guys? Time. Or... Which one? Time? Since? Since. 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 Desde. 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 For example, um, I speak English since I was eight years old. Yo hablo inglés desde los ocho años. Desde que tengo ocho años. For example. For example. Mm -hmm. Another one, guys? Yes, Mr. Moran. Week, weekly and yearly. Weekly is... Es es, a la uh -huh. semana y al año. Semanal y anual. Ah, ah okay. Mm -hmm. okay. For example, eh, cuando tú, por ejemplo, quieres decir que haces una actividad weekly, that means that you do every single week. Mm -hmm. Ya si tú quieres decir a specific time, no specific day, I use a preposition of time. Okay. Por ejemplo, si tú quieres decir, uh, yo voy a clases de natación el jueves por la mañana. ¿Cómo lo dirías en inglés? Usando the preposition of time. And also the hours of time. ¿Cómo lo dirías? Think about it. ¿Quién me lo dice? I will swing. I know I go, porque dice simple present. Yo voy a clases de natación el jueves por la mañana. How do you say that in English? Using the hours of time and the preposition of time. I, I go to swimming. I go to swimming classes. Okay, very good. I go to swimming classes on Thursday morning. On Thursday morning. Uh-huh. Or Thursday in the morning. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Very good. You see, we're putting in practice the adverbs of time and the preposition of time to talk about an activity that we do. Okay. If, if you want to, to let us know a specific information, right? But if you want to let us know that you take uh, swimming classes all weeks, you can say, I go to swimming classes weekly. That means that you go to swimming classes all the weeks. But you didn't specify or you didn't let us know which day in particularly or which days you go to do or, or, or to go to, you go to English uh, to swimming classes or you do that activity. You see, it depends on exactly what information you would like to provide. Is that clear? Yes. Very good. Like any other adverb of times, guys? Monthly. Yes. Which one? Monthly. Monthly. Mensualmente. Okay. Thanks. Another one, guys? Very good. You're welcome, Glory. Yet. Yet. Okay. Uh, see, to, to, see, if I ask you, guys, uh, is, the, um, is the English class about to finish? La clase de inglés ya va a terminar. Ustedes me dicen, no, no todavía yet. no, no yet. Exactly. No yet. Mm -hmm. uh, aún no. Mm -hmm. Then. Which one? Then. Then, luego. Por ejemplo, I, I can say, te veo luego. I see you then. See you then. Okay. Mm -hmm. O por ejemplo, eh, um, we have a party on Saturday more on Saturday night. Oh, okay, cool. I see you then. Te veo. Te veo. Okay. Or I can say I see you there. También te veo ahí. Depende, right? But in this uh -huh. case, it's a time of others of time. Okay. Any other one? You see, I want to show you something. This is the second English teacher. Can you see her? <laughs> yeah. Her name is Lilo, and he is the mother of the babies. Lilo is Stitch. Exactly, my uh, whiskey looks Beautiful. like a Stitch. Exactly. <laughs> hi, Lilo. <laughs> Say hi. Oh, thank you. Hi. Here you go. How old are you? Stitch, are my, oh, are... my new dog. Uh, se llamará Stitch. Stitch, okay, thank you. In honor. No le <laughs> thank you so much. All right, so this is Lilo. She's also an English teacher. Okay. Yes. A stitch, <laughs> Yeah, she, she's a dog teacher, actually. <laughs> okay, very good. Any other question, guys? Or oh, we're good so far? So far, so good? So far, so good. Okay, cool. Okay, guys, so I know the time is over, but. Um, I, this is going to be your homework for tomorrow, okay? This is the first thing that I'm going to ask for tomorrow's class. Um, I want you guys to think in um, two sentences, okay? That you have to use the two things that we have seen today, preposition of time and adverse of time in a simple present way. As an example that I give it to you of the swimming classes, okay? It's exactly the same. Don't complicate your life, okay? Just use the information or the vocabulary that you know so far. And I just need, guys, two sentences for each of you for tomorrow, okay? okay. <laughs> don't, don't look at me with that face, Javier. Okay. <laughs> Everything's going to be all right. Okay, if you have any questions so far, just let me know. I'll be more than glad to help you. Okay, guys, I know that you love me. I love you too. You know, the time passed really fast. It's already 11 minutes past 10. Wow. Okay. Yes, right. But Claudia is going to go back to sleep at 11 p.m. So it's still yeah. some time, right? Okay, Claudia. <laughs> okay, guys, it's time to say goodbye. I really appreciate that you joined this class. I know that you're really tired, worried, or... Well, something else. And maybe you have not eat as me. <laughs> okay. But I do really appreciate your commitment and I join the class every single day. Okay, guys. So please study. Okay. Do your homework. And I'm going to see you tomorrow. Okay. <clears throat>
Okay. Hugs okay. and kisses to everybody. Good Bye-bye. night. Good evening. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.